Well, hi everyone, this is Scott V, and um, in my new city of Quickhaven, which is on a Feed the Beast Ultimate Pack server, and I wanted to do a quick uh, view today of how the energy bridges work from the uh, power converters mod. Uh, my town now has a medium voltage industrial craft power grid set up. But what I would like to do is I would like to use some of this power since it has the most options for generating IC2 power. Uh, the EUs has the most options for generating those. I would like to use those to power machines from other mods. And that's what the power converters are for. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you that there is medium voltage coming into this building. Let's go down here and take a quick look at what happens to it once it comes into the building. Now this tangle here looks kind of complicated and weird, uh, but these are the uh, extremely nice and efficient and well-programmed blocks from the energy converter mod. Now the energy bridge is the core of the mod. Basically, uh, let's walk through this here. I have medium voltage industrial craft power coming in. So this block is an IC2 medium voltage consumer. It will consume that power, give it to the energy bridge right here, and then as far as producers, this is a uh, MJ producer, and this is a factorization charge producer. And then all three of them act together. They all have the same interface when you uh, pop them up. You can see right now that nothing is running, but this is just really a smart, neat interface. It shows you that uh, the north side has got build craft power going out. The south side has medium voltage IC2 power going in. The east side has factorization going out. Now let's just run a few things here. Here's my trusty grinders, your best bet for dealing with coal ore that you've still touched. The grinders starting up. Let's check the power here. You should now see at the bottom that factorization is using 12 charges per tick. And what's interesting with the uh, energy bridge is very well put together where there's a conversion ratio so that one, one unit of charge is approximately one unit of IC2 power. So you can see that it's, it's sending out 12 charges per tick to the grinder and it's consuming 11 EU per tick from my power grid. Let me run downstairs quickly and throw some stuff in the uh, one of these machines. I feel like ditching some of my aluminum ore right now. Now what you'll see down here is now you see that I'm consuming build craft power, 5 MJ per tick. Now the conversion rate for build craft power is not nearly as favorable. Each uh, build craft MJ costs about two and a half EUs, but this uh, energy bridge does an excellent job of, of taking all of the requested outputs and converting them all into uh, one lump sum and then pulling in only as much power as you need. Really a fascinating uh, batch of, uh, of items. Now I recommend for build craft power that you use the uh, energy conduits from the thermal expansion mod. Technically I could put a, uh, a regular conductive wooden pipe here and then conductive pipes, but the thing is the energy conduits tend to ask the machines how much power they need and only delivers that much power. And when the machines are done running there's no not, not, there's no uh, energy consumed at all. The problem with the conductive pipes is um, the conductive pipes are not smart. They have no idea how much energy is actually needed. So with the conductive pipes, what will end up happening is the energy bridge will take the full amount being delivered, convert that into MJ, and then make your pipes explode. Yeah, so originally this wall was blown out in fact, is still a piece missing from when I first tried hooking it up with uh, regular pipes. Uh, but it's really a fascinating network. All of the uh, items, uh, once you have a, con you, you build your consumers first and then you can put the consumer in your crafting grid to get the pr matching producer. 
Uh, so you start by making it consumers, and they're all four gold in the corner. And then it uses one logical thing from each mod. So the buildcraft consumer will take a sterling engine or a steam engine in the center to create a, a buildcraft consumer. If you want a producer, you then put the consumer in your grid and it turns into a producer. Uh, each of the IC2 consumer producers is four gold in the corner again. And then the respective transformer, so low voltage transformer, medium voltage transformer, high voltage transformer. Um, here's a, another one, the extreme voltage consumer. Uh, the steam consumer uh, from Railcraft, we use, use a commercial steam engine, and for factorization, it's a solar turbine in the middle. And for the actual energy bridge itself, again, it's four gold around the outside. The energy bridge, yeah, it's uh, four gold, and then redstone, glass, and diamonds to give you your actual energy bridge. It's a very impressive mod. I know originally it was, it was uh, a lot simpler. But this system here, especially with the uh, redstone energy conduits handling all of the uh, polling of how much energy you're actually going to need, this system here is really, really pretty spectacular. And it's so easy to set up now that I don't worry about trying to get, you know, trying to get these big factory production you know, energy producers done in every single one of these mods. I just generate EU, run it through the energy bridge, and you should see all my machines are currently done, and it's no longer drawing energy from the grid. And boy, it would be a whole lot of hassle with regular pipes and all different power sources to get them all to work uh, nearly as smartly as this one does. And literally, it just connects for the factorization side right into lead wires, right into batteries, and none of this has ever exploded on the factorization side. And the buildcraft side with the energy conduits is also completely stable. And uh, that's a basic uh, overview of the energy bridge power converters mod. Hope you find that useful.